Black Arts Bay. Eventually, I'll figure out what to put down on the rest of the screen. Maybe sponsors. I don't know. Maybe tournament? Or send me ideas. But uh, King of Blade Alpha and THC. It's actually THC with the first pick. What do they got? Oh, we have a... Well, we're still in bands. So THC banned out Zagara. So this is the first game we're not going to see a Zagara. KOB Alpha is banning out Taronda. And here's our first pick. All right, no Taranda. I don't think we've actually seen a Taranda all day. She has been, uh, I think, banned every time. Poor girl, just confined to the sidelines. So, well, nerfs. <coughs> Next patch. <coughs> <laughs> Maybe. This is also going to be the first time that um, we're not seeing a Zagara. And of course, well, KT first pick. Pretty. That's what we've been seeing a lot tonight. Well, yeah, if it's not a Zagara, it's been a Kael'thas. Now, it does look like the Hammer Brothers are going to get picked up on the flip side. Murden and Falstad to join King of Blaze Alpha. Let's fly. Hmm. Yeah, I call them the Hammer Brothers. It used to be a fun lane back in Alpha. Because, you know, stuns and hammers and more hammers. And then you jump, Goomba Stomp and you barrel roll. And they're both dwarves. They both have hammers. I think it makes sense. It's not as fun anymore. Uh, I, well... Falstead has been typically second ban. He's never been a first pick potential. He's been a, a lot of second ban uh, from a lot of teams. So seeing him here, uh, Gust is going to be absolutely fantastic. There's so much room to play around with in a lot of these team fights. Bottom lane is really like the only restricted lane, right? Because it's kind of uh, narrow. But mid has a lot of space. The Blackheart turn-in area has a lot of space. The top area as well. Gust can do some pretty fantastic things here, I think. Oh, we got, a, we got an Uthifer THC. Okay, so the not too much of a surprise. No nope. Man. And Rainer. We have 42 heroes, right? Anytime you're ready. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what our uh, statistics today have been, but uh, we do have these comforts for sure. All right, so King of Blades Alpha, what can they ban out here? There's no warrior for THC, and King of Blades Alpha is going to get their pick. Murden is already picked. They're very likely, I want to say, to take a Sonya. I think that she just does a lot of... She wears a lot of hats on this match. So King of Blades Alpha can either ban out the Tassadar, or they can ban out a warrior. At least that's how I feel like those, those should be the priority bans. Oh, well, I was actually going to say, yeah, after the fact. Good. Glad, glad you could agree with me. ETC is a ban. <laughs> Now, what about the flip side? King of Blades is going to have two picks here. Who goes great with a false dead? Well, we've been seeing a lot of Thrall to go with Mirrodin's, right? Uh, we've seen no a lot Zagara. of Thrall tonight. We have seen Eric. a lot of Thrall, yeah. But there's no Zagara, so false dead needs another range damage potential. Jaina is still up on the chop block, and, well, she Not is going to be on that chop block. So they still need their support. They need a damage dealer. I mean, Zagara's out. You might see a Vala this game, actually. Feels like forever since we've seen Vala. Actually, did we have a Vala first game? I no. thought she got banned out. Yeah, she she was a ban in the first game, you're right. Uh, so Vala could be coming into this. Uh, I still suspect we'll see a Sonya to help out with the murder, and that will leave us with... Well, Uther was the pick for THC. Rhaegar has been seeing a lot of play. But seeing an Uther on the other side, this you don't need to put a support here for King of Blade Alpha. So I'm going to maintain uh, Sonya and a range damage. Rainer's out, Kael'thas is out, Jaina's out. I feel like we're going to see Thrall. I mean, we've been seeing so much Thrall tonight, so why not? You can't do Sonya and Thrall, so you have to do one or the other. They both fill the same role. We got 10 seconds left on this bonus pool. The suspense. There it is. All right, you win. There it is. Let me Thrall. So who else to go range to? Glory I would say Vala. Is that the best we can think of, Vala? Savannah's could do good for the pushing game, but no, all right, we'll stick with the Vala. It's like the team knows or something. <laughs> all right, THC needs a warrior. Murden right. and ETC are already out, so Johanna comes to mind. If it's not going to be Johanna, Diablo has been seeing some play today. They they could go double warrior. They could go Joe Sonia. Joe the... Sonia with Rainer. I I would probably go Diablo Sonia then. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting about Diablo. I think Diablo with the Initiate would be a little bit too strong. That you could either Apocalypse or Lightning Breath. 
I think the lightning breath has worked out really well in the past. So is the, well, the apocalypse was a mixed result in my eyes, but I would definitely put more emphasis on on a lightning breath for this one. That lightning breath was really strong that one game. I mean, he was yeah. top damage. So yeah, that's what I mean. There's our Sonya, and <laughs> will it be the Diablo? <laughs> My blade. You got the Uther. I mean, the Divine Shield is rather strong. Plus, at level 20, you're going to have a Redemption Uther and a, and a Soul Stoned Diablo to deal with. Yeah. I'm liking the Diablo more now. I would put more emphasis on Diablo than Joe. There's nothing to like, there's no point in gathering them up with Joe. And other than that, I mean, she only has one CC with her uh, Blessed Shield. I don't consider Condemn really like a reliable set you up CC. Well, it could work really well with like the Kethos. I mean, it's a slow and it groups them together. You get a nice chain bomb off or a nice Q. Yeah, good. Oh, God. 18 seconds and counting. What kind of stuns are we going to be seeing from King of Blade? We got the Mirrodin. False stat if he goes auto attack. Material. Sanctification. Yep. Double invulnerability comp. Well, assuming Uther goes for the shield. Reckoning Could he actually go for the hand. stun? I don't think so. Not with only a thrall really on him. Uh, okay, so hewing potential for King of Blade Alpha. We've seen Medic. We've seen Rhaegar. They've been going Medic. You probably see... Let's see. Medic, though, with Ethereal Sony on her? Yeah, no. You don't have to go Sanctification. It's just the first thing that comes to mind. If you see a Medic, like a Charge Leap, for example, or just a Charge Sonya. You probably see Rhaegar. I really like okay. Kerazim, but I don't think it's going to work with a... What? Really? They're gonna be uh so blind. Blind for Sonya, Rainer, and Tyrael. I need to hit the Lily button. There's the Lily button. So Mirrodin has his own self-healing. Thrall has Frostwolf Resilience. Vala can go puncturing arrow with siphoning arrow. And that leaves us Lily really just to babysit Falstead. I <clears throat> There's Falsta's a lot the of ways though. to stop jugs, though. Yeah, they so, have yeah, gravity Tyrael. laps. All five of them. All five of them have a way actually to stop out jugs of healing. Jugs oh. of a thousand cups. Tyrael only has it if he gets if he doesn't go sanctification, though. Yeah, but that's still four viable options. Um, okay, Rainer can't do it till 16. That's true. Uther has a stun, gravity laps, and Sonya's spear. Okay, so it's not as many as we thought. I don't feel like Uther is going to be doing it because if I mean, if Lily is close enough to Uther, she's probably got more. Like she's she's in trouble. The other part of uh, Tyrael is not only is he going to be a frontliner, but if he is going to go into a judgment, he's the initiate. If he's going into sanctification, uh, shields plus sank plus Uther. Rainer has adrenaline rush. Sonya has ferocious healing, and Kalthas will have a mana barrier at 16. It's a very durable team. Very durable team. We don't have that same type of durability with a Lili. You have a lot of sustain, but it's single target sustain unless ult. This is going to be an interesting game. I haven't seen a Lili in a while. I'm rather surprised at King of Blade Alpha. Well, uh, not entirely too sure what we're waiting on. <clears throat> Looks like we're waiting on Light Chimera. <laughs> Dirty Lily Picker. <laughs> Where the Light Chimera at? <laughs> I don't like it. But uh, yeah, those are going to be your teams. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Did I tweet out the stream? I think I did. Let me double check. Nope, I didn't. All right. The finals are upon us. Uh, so our teams are Kings of King of Blades, Alpha versus THC. Cool. And it all fit. Cool. That's awesome. Teams, you may start whenever. Whenever. No rush. Uh, so, could we see a water dragon? <sighs> I don't think it does enough, to be honest. Uh, 
I don't think so either. And the cups? It's a gamble. It feels like she's more there more for the blind of the utility rather than the healing. Dirty I, Lily picker. I think if they can get Lily to 20, she's going to shine, but I think they're going to have some hard times until then. Do we have the stuns to lock down a Lily? Not if she takes Shake It Off. She's very likely to take level 7 Shake It Off. I'm not sure we have enough lockdown for her. We could easily interrupt the jugs, but like a two seconds of stun with, the, with that blind on five targets every, every few seconds. Ugh, it's ridiculous. They Absolutely. do have enough disengage for that, Lily, though. Like, if they, if they get in trouble, I mean, they're going to have Gust, they're going to have Sundering. They're going to need to stun the Vala, probably, so... It, it could be that they just don't have enough stuns for the, to stop the Jugs. Well, let's stick with Jugs for now. Thrall with the Sundering. Vala, um, with this many stuns, I'm not sure Vala can strafe, either. They might want to just start looking for a lockdown with um, Reign of Vengeance. But King of Blade Alpha is going to be here on your left-hand side, ladies and gentlemen. You know them and love them. Tomster, Collusion, Talking Trees, Frozen, X, and Dark Chimera once more. So on the right side, we got the uh, THC. We got Necromongers, Lerner, Buds, Justing, and Schnazzy. Necromongers. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I'm a big, you know, Riddick fan, though. <laughs> Uh, so, who do you rush down on this one? In every other map, we've seen five-man collapses taking towers and even forts within the first two minutes. Well, it looks like they're doing the die for the eye. Maybe mid? Because oh. that's where you're going to hit first anyway. Now, what I would expect is definitely what uh, we're doing from THC. You just rush the bottom lane. Because it's the farthest lane, right? If you can take your advantage there, you could put down light support. Uh, the other side, though, is just going all for mid. They did go for the eye. They're going to take all these towers. Are we actually going to trade out forts, or who's going to relent first? I feel like going mid is better, or at least, because you have you have the um, the chest spawning, you have the extra minion waves you can get the experience from. I would have expected Frozen X, actually, to be the one to fly bottom. You know, kind of just uh, get there as quick as they can. It's all about Dark Chimera, though. Didn't touch the fort. The fort not, I mean, it's not falling over, but it did take some damage there in the mid. And who got the coins? Beautiful move by Snazzy. Kind of ran in and then used his Q to get out of there. Got three of those coins. Let's look at talents there as well, while we're thinking about it. Uh, all five went to Justing. So it's eight coins, two for a nice split here early on. THC is uh, going to be reaping that reward a little bit. Dark Chimera follows Justing over to the Black Beard. So they're not going to be able to turn in very well. Uh, not really a huge level advantage either, sir. No, it's pretty even. So talent-wise, we got the Regen Master on Tyrael, War Paint for the healing on auto attacks on Sonya, Give Me More on Raynor for the extra healing on his E, Contra Pursuit on Uther, and Mana Addict on Kael'thas. Yep, L as expected. Yep. Uh, Contra's Pursuit for Lily. Not a Water Drake, or what hit? Not as Cloud Serpent build. At all. I've been I've been seeing a lot of Lilies that even go Cloud Serpent. You get the Conjurers because it's just so. Much regen for yep. you later game. It's like a 50% yeah, it. increase. Rolling Thunder again, Siphoning Arrow, very likely into Puncturing Arrow. Reverberation Season, Marksman for our Falstead. No barrel roll this round. Uh, he is going to take a heck of a lot of damage from Necromongers, though. Can't take on a Kale this early on. Uh, we do have Thrall and Murden just thinking about doing stuff. They have actually taken some coins. Uh, looks like they're rotating now up top, but if they find Schnazzy, it's not going to be a kill, I think. That's still not going to be a kill. Could be some good damage, but uh, ooh, Tomster, gotta be very careful. So we do, in fact, have the uh, vortex build Lily with the mass vortex for four targets on her blind instead of two. Yep. That she has to do that. I mean, that's really one of her big primary functions in this round. If she can ban, or if she can ban, if she can blind all four opponents that are rushing down the team. I mean, that's Sonya not gaining Rage or Lifesteal. That's Raynor not hitting auto attacks. Oh. And that's uh, Tyrion not hitting auto attacks. We got two focused attacks on both Sonya and Raynor. We got increased healing on Tyrion. We actually have a shield finally on Uther. Yeah, no conviction here. I think they're afraid of the burst. The shield is uh, pretty much just like a big option up against burst. Oh, bottom. Um, Buds might be in trouble. Nope, oh, he dodge. dodges the wolf. But they did get the Adrenaline Rush cooldown from him, so if they do that again, he won't have that in his pocket. Collusion's just out and about farming. 
We got uh, Sony kind of doing the same thing now. Which is why, again, oh, like I said, uh, Sony would be so great. Thrall's thinking of Justing. I don't think he has enough in the bank. No, he's actually going to get turned around now. Collusion is going to have to face him. Necromongers is looking for him. Yeah, that's going to be first blood right there. Here comes the rest of the team. Frozen X flying in. Learners down here as well. It's a veritable bloodbath behind enemy lines. They do take down the Kael'thas, so one for one. Collusion is still alive, would you believe? Schnazzy's now into the back. Who are they looking for, though? Schnazzy's all by himself in the three-on-one situation. Justin will come in and find Jack Carmera. Collusion now is going to actually get uh, whirlwinded on. Get smited there as well. Stunned there on top of Schnazzy. We'll keep him alive. And Falstead will reset. Talking Trees has been taking coins. Talking Trees taking coins. <laughs> like it. Yeah. But Schnazzy and crew, they're still here. Yeah. Oh, they might actually pick up Collusion. Nope. Had another Dwarf Toss ready. Stun on the back. Gonna keep him alive. But uh, who got the mid coins? Kale? No. Nobody? Who got the mid coins? Um, it was probably Vala. I mean, she had six coins when you saw her. I don't okay. think she had any to begin. Another fly coming in. Frozen X stun. They're looking for Schnazzy. He has six coins. Shields and stuns. Who's going to actually come out of that one? Will be Collusion. Twelve coins now to his name. It's wow. really bloody hard to take down a Meriden. So they have 19 coins. Well, they did. <laughs> now they're going to get a, a push mid. That's going to obliterate the fort. Start working on those top towers. Nothing Necromongers can do about that. Let's look at the talents because yikes. Puncturing into repeating for Vala, as uh, you would expect on that one. There's a follow through again. Good stuff coming out for a heal over time. No shake it off. Dark Chimera will be vulnerable to mass uh, chain CC then. I guess she's worried about the healing. We have, ooh, Battle Events of Ontario, Precious Healing on Sonya, Revolution Overdrive, Cleanse, and Fission Bomb on Kel'Thas. Cleanse. There's a lot of stuns available to the other team. It's good yeah. We're seeing the more standard Uther build with all the actives and going crazy with the buttons. Revolution Overdrive, I think, is fantastic for Rainer's. I mean, he has the highest range in the game, highest base range in the game. Uh, so having that extra movement speed when in those clusters can either save his life or uh, help him chase down a target that's running. I guess, I guess he's not that worried about being dove with this comp. I mean, he's got the Uther to protect him. You have two frontliners, so you don't really need the extra damage reduction on your E. For the resistant? Yeah. No. Oh. I mean, he has, he, a, he, has a he has a Lili. He has a Yeah. <laughs> Tomster, two coins. Not quite going to go down, but there's three team members here from uh, THC to kind of deal with that. 12 coins immediately from Collusion. That's going to be a second straight turn in. That top fort is now going to meet its end. This is a push bottom that could actually result in a three fort uh, swing between two cannon rushes. I think this is a fort. I mean, they have the 10, they have alts. They can't, the other team can't really do anything to stop them here. Wow. It's going to be strafe? That's impressive. Haha. -ha. I, I, I would have put money on uh, Reign of Vengeance, to be honest. Just go for the lockup. But all right, strafe it is. Avatar, there's the jugs of a thousand cups, as we expected. And that will be all three forts in two cannon turn ins. They're mid right now. They might actually push for this wall right here. Nope. Well, mid's not pushing for the wall. No, I mean, I mean, bottom, they're going to push for this wall in. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, they got double mercs behind him. Even if they go down, they can take at least a tower with them. They got to be careful, though. They're about to hit 10. Where's that tower? Oh, the tower lived. Chain Lightning's not going to hit it. Uh, it's level 12 to 9. The three fort swing is a lot of experience put into the pockets of King of Blades. So what's the result? It is judgment. It is judgment. If Lily throws off her jugs, it's going to be an immediate judgment. Stray for jugs, yeah. Let's go and you can't, you can't cleanse it. You can cleanse the after effect, but you can't cleanse the actual judge anymore. I mean, they don't really have cleanse. Right, it's Uther with the cleanse. That's yep. right. Not Lily. So, a little bit of aggression now into the mid. We have 17 coins. 11 of them there on Justing. As long as he can get it off. That will be uh, some much needed experience into the pocket of THC, but... We're just kind of going to, you know, put Peter around. Schnazzy comes in from the side. Here comes Tomster, though. That's going to be huge. Here comes the Gust. And that's for them now and behind the opponents. Tomster not looking so hot. There's the stun on top of Dark Chimera. No jugs there, but Sony is down. Buds is even going to live. Well, no, not the through the puncturing arrow and collusion. But it's still going to be a massacre going the way of King of the Blade. Wow. Now they got the talent advantage even more. 13. 13 10. 
Necromonger is likely not to get out of this one. Not with Thompson on him. Dark Chimera is going to take the kill anyways. Talking Trees with the reset arrow. It's not enough. Shazzy with the last of the men is able to get to safety. But there goes that tower. And how many coin swing was that? 15 coin swing. Yep. So we have two giant killers on their side. We got the Thunderstrike, Grace of Air, and Lily still doesn't know what she wants. And a dead Schnazzy. 17 point sweep complete. Nope, I think they're gonna... Oh, they got him. Okay. 25 coins. Basically, everything is in the purse here of oh, Light Alpha. That's spawn time. 10 more coins. Uh, so no turn in. It's gonna happen here from THC. They can't stop a turn in. Well, we only dunked in 13. 13 advantage though comes in and that's surging winds. Surging winds is just going to empower those heals a lot more there from Dark Chimera. They still have another full turn in after this too. 24 coins? Uh, yep. Because they only need 17. They only need one right now. Well yeah, but 17 for the yeah. uh, straight. Alright, so Justing is going to start doing some mercenaries. Looks like Shnazzy is going to try to pave the way top a little bit. They don't really have any vision on the opponent's side, but we know that they're off doing their mercenaries onto the side. Bottom's getting defended, mid's getting defended, although... Is that going to be a keep? That tower is down. No. Six cannibals. Close. Six cannibals isn't enough. Oh, there's still a tower too, yep. How many do you need? I think you need eight. Top is getting just destroyed. Shnazzy's That out. should be Shnazzy, yep. Durable team when they're together, very frail when they're not. So I think that was five cannonballs there, so you need at least seven to take down the keep. But still, as you said, they have enough for another turn. They have 29 coins and counting. Jeez, they're going to take boss here too. Like, we're almost seeing the 16-12 deficit. Wow. Whew. THC, not really bringing the pain this round. I don't know who picked this map, but uh, King of Blades Alpha is doing phenomenal work on it. I feel like it's King of Blades. This is one of those maps you don't really see people pick unless it's a comfort pick because you get into the situation where you get really far ahead and it's really hard to stop because once they're ahead, like you have to dive on them to stop the coins or they can just go around and get all the mercenary camps. 16 and 18 is what, 34? We almost have oh. two back-to-back -back turns right now. If they can actually kill off the nine coin holding uh, opponents, that will be two keeps, at the very least. So they're going to try to get aggressive. Tomster's the target. There's the judgment coming in from the Jugs. Here comes the false dead, though. Should just be a gust for a reset. Probably into that little hole. Into the wall. Yeah. Into. Oh, my goodness. They just clumped them all up. They will actually lose out the Murden and the false dead. They only paid for it with Schnazzy. So despite the talent disadvantage, not doing too bad here. It's not going to be a kill on Tomster. It's so Ooh. very close, though. And they do lose that to Sonya for her aggression. And then meanwhile, we have the boss pushing top and taking out the entire wall and still have half health. And we still have 24 coins, which is more than enough for a turn-in. Dark Chimera and Talking Trees will take care of it. Tomster could do whatever he wants, I guess. Double Merc push bottom did actually take down the fort. So that's a, that's a big boost of experience over to THC. And, and nothing is done. That gate is probably going to go down. But there's the turn-in. This is two keeps, I think. Yeah, it should be enough. How many coin? How many shots you get? Ten. Yep. Twelve. You get twelve. That's for uh for sure. Two keeps. That will put us close to eighteen, I think. Here's the seventeen mark. Cleaning up bottom. They won't actually lose out a tower. They pick up some mercenaries of their own for a counter push as well. Boss is out, so that's not going to be a threat. And this keep is Gonzo. So yeah, it's six shots for a keep. Not seven. All right. Uh, they're going to get a well, they're going to get a tower, and as I said, that will be very close to 18. And it's pretty much on the money. <coughs> that last shot will put them there. That's Top is trying to do some counter pushing. We need that level 16 for the next fight. 16, 18 will probably be the differential, but uh, the only keep left might as well pile onto it. And that's exactly what King of Blaze Elf is doing. And with no defense, really. It even pulled them away from the offense up top. They didn't. They got a tower for it, 
Ooh. They come home, they can't even defend the keep. Good chain bombs, but 1816 and no pushes anywhere? THG is not looking so hot here. So I don't know if you saw that, but apparently the Q from Sonya. Oh. Well, there's the Q from Sonya. <laughs> <laughs> Tomster is still alive. They have no judgment to hit down Lily. Wow. Tomster lives through it. Can't say the same for the dwarf, but uh, wow. Keeping Tomster alive was so impressive, but they do trade it out two for two. Again, like, on equal footings, I don't think King of Blades Alpha can win a fight. But they've held a two-level advantage pretty much this entire time, and that has been the difference. I mean, They're also still holding all the coins. Yeah, they kept all their coins there, so that's... Not all of them, but now here comes the result. That should be it for Tomster. If he gets out of this one. Yeah, all right. Gust again. This Gust is why time. you ban out Falstead. He just ruins your day. So back to that previous fight, yeah. the Gust, apparently the Q from Sonya is enough to actually... She didn't get pushed back because of the Q. She like pulled herself through the wind. So yeah, okay, you're unstoppable through the pull, I suppose. Yep, looks like it. Cool. Did not know that. Me neither. Sanctification would uh, you know, really stop out that Gust there as well, but we don't... Like, trying to guess it, if you miss the timing, you're, you're wide open. Well, I mean, even if you hit the timing, that could actually be pretty detrimental. Because let's say you have like three people in the sanctification and then he gusts. The people in the sanctification are going anywhere and everyone else is going to get pushed away from the fight. Yeah, but at least you still have a majority front line. All right, so I saw Sundering there at the bottom of it all. Uther is actually going to drop out very quickly. We, that's going to be a stun on top of Frozen, but it's not a judgment on top of Dark Chimera. So again, the Jug's doing work. Schnazzy's now kind of stuck. Yeah, he's going to get stunned and rooted and tomstered. <laughs> getting tomstered. It's almost like getting dumpstered. <laughs> Strafe is fantastic. Gets him. And that's game. And yeah, that's going to be a turn in. 19 coins compared to the 7. We had one turn in total, which got us this fort mid from THC. They couldn't get any other push going around a cannon turn in. They had mercenaries take out the bottom for them. The thrall was really good there. Like the, the, the initiates, the stuns, it was just it set up so many good kills. Not even going to get to 20, unfortunately, but uh, with the cannonballs and the push, it's way more than enough. And once more, victory to the blue team. As we are something, what, uh, six, six and, and zero, zero blue with blue. Coincidence? Dun dun dun. Nerf blue team? Nerf blue team. <laughs> I don't care who it is, you just nerf it. <laughs> <laughs> Still, this puts King of Blades Alpha up 1-0 over their opponents, and I gotta say, at one point, it was almost a four-level advantage. <clears throat> I'm actually amazed they did so well with the, um, the Lili, like, even the interrupting the Lili didn't seem to matter. Uh, it did and it didn't. They only interrupted her a few times, like, in the beginning of everything. Uh, the rest of it was just kind of, like, panic. It almost felt like they were panic judgments. It's just like, oh, we're, we're focusing this guy. Get him. And then you saw the power of the jugs. Like, they kept Tomster up in that last fight. It kept Frozen up in that uh, last fight. And THC, unfortunately, if they can't do anything about those jugs, they're, they're just not going to be able to do much against Lily Because the blinds, remember the blinds coming into that very heavily, right? Yeah. Four target blind. And every time she blinds someone, she gets better heals. She blinds, gets the heals, and then jugs. It's a very powerful combination if you don't stop it. And they didn't in those last two engages. Well, those gusts were on point, too. Like, you're splitting the team, you're, you're clumping them up for Val to do their work. I mean, some good fights. Yes, sir. They were indeed.